We plan on it. Thank you, Cindy. Well, we've now come to the part of tonight's program where the show goes down a really bad road, literally. <laughs> That's right. The, the votes have been counted. And uh, the Gillis Point Road in rural Cape Breton is Atlantic Canada's worst road again. CTV's Ryan McDonald tests his shock absorbers. The beginning of the Gillis Point Road, the worst road in Nova Scotia. True to its reputation, Atlantic Canada's worst road two years running begins with a monster crater. It's a distinction basically that we in the area don't want to have. It's now a doubly dubious distinction. According to the CAA, it's one that's well earned. It isn't easy to top its worst roads list twice in a row. There's a lot of voting, um, there's a lot of roads out there, so this must be a whole community effort. Community efforts to get the road fixed have been constant through Paul McNeil's eight years on council. But the lack of results speaks for itself. The main route to the tiny community of Washabuck is a pockmarked mess. 16 kilometers of washed out culverts and crumbling concrete. You know it's a really bad situation when our pastor has to uh, apologize off the church altar to, to the mourners at a funeral for the, the conditions of the, this road. The tourists especially, once they travel this road once, they don't want to come back. Then there's the matter of emergency vehicles. They have to travel this road. It delays their time to get to the emergency, to get to a fire. It puts people in danger. Multiple sections of road are so badly damaged, the overwhelming majority of traffic simply travels on the other side of the yellow line. Nova Scotia's transportation minister says he's aware of the state of the road and that a tender for some repairs will go out this summer. It's tough to justify a, a, a full paving project that would be several million dollars given the low volumes, uh, but, but certainly it's, it's an important road for those in the community. And So by looking at chip seal and, and other patching work we can do, uh, we'll do our very best to, to strengthen it. Residents want a long-term fix. They hope the attention brought by this new double dishonor will help make that happen. If it helps to get something done with this road, uh, like, we don't mind having it. Hope for a silver lining. After earning a distinction, nobody wants to claim once, let alone twice. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Washaba, Nova Scotia.